Well, hello, hey everybody, it's B2, and let me talk to you today about Applied Energistics 2. It's been a while since I've made an AE2 video, but on YouTube I've had several questions related to, well, how do I get things into the ME system? And so you see we have a very basic setup here. Um, I just did a couple crafting terminals and controllers because, you know, one's never cool. You always want to have too many, right? Uh, threw some basic power on there, so we've got the ME running while we're doing the example. Put a drive with a 64 bay in there, and now let's talk about putting stuff in. I can go to the terminal, and I can just put a little something something in there like that. I can just click as many items as I want into, and it's like, okay, it's all going into my ME system. What, what? So that's basically it. Everybody knows how to do that, right? Let's talk about um, hooking up an ender chest. Now, there's an e interesting idea, B2. And we're going to need an import bus. So basically, you need to think about this, and I've said this before in past videos. The things that are labeled are as it relates to... Well, get out of here, slime. Um, I always put these iron golems down to clear out the, uh, the slimes in the realm because they just are annoying with that psh, 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 psh going on in the background during your whole video. So every time I see one creeping up, I'm like, bam, bam, iron golem for you. <laughs> I don't know why I find that so interesting, but I do. Uh, anyway, <clears throat> you need to think about these items as it relates to the ME system. So if it's going to be an import bus, it's going to import into the ME. If it's an export, it's going to export out of the ME. What is it? Get over here. Get on your job, boy. Get to work. <laughs> um, so basically, that's how it works. So let's say I am out and about... And I want to um, put some items into the ME system. Well, I mean, it's like slime galore here, man. Um, I put down, look at all the golems I put down. They're still finding their way in here. We're going to do this. More golems. More golems. All right. Anyway, that should pretty much guard us from anything else getting in here. Um, next time what I'll do is I'll take and build a fancy wall and keep them all out for us. Uh, so basically, now what's going to happen is if I drop something in here, let's put this muscle in here, boom, it disappears. If I go back in, bang, the muscle's in there. Can't really see it. So let's put this heart in here, right? There's a couple of lungs, but there's no heart. So if I put the heart in here, bam, now it's going to show up in here, bang, heart. So that's pretty simple. You guys get that concept. There's uh, there's nothing ooh-ah-y about that, really. Uh, but what happens is, is, is you go out here, way out in the world, and you're like, Man, you know what? Uh, I want to put in, I want to put in some slimes. Actually, let's go kill something. Let's go kill something, and that so we don't have yet. Okay, there's a there's a feather, right? I'm just gonna make a mess out here. And I'm like, okay, I'm in a dungeon. I'm farming, and I don't want to go home to empty my inventory. So I'm gonna put a chicken and three feathers in here. I'm gonna put my iron golem thing in there. I'm gonna crack my chest and go home, right? If you had your pickaxe, you could crack the ender chest. Now we're going to go back home. Um, I'm going to go keep exploring the thing. And I'm going to probably empty my chest three or four times in a dungeon so I don't have to go home and drop inventory. Bam. Chicken and feather already in your ME system. So that's one cool kind of way to uh, get things into your ME system. Um, the next one is uh, is just, I don't know why, you know, the application for this, but it just does work. Um, is called an anni annihilation plane, I believe. Really should have done some homework on this before I uh, started the recorder. Um, and I put in one too many ends. I can't even. Apparently, I can't even spell today. And all these slimes all over here are lagging me all out, man. So annihil annihilation plane. I'm definitely next time gonna spend some time cleaning up slimes. No, it's not there. What? What? Okay, so let's get um, let's get a grass block underneath there again. Now, let's aim correctly. There we go. So you put your annihilation plane up, and you're like, you know what? I just want to show you what's in my ME system before we do this. Um, there's slime, but there's no annihilation plane in the ME. So if I go over here, and I queue it into there, boom, it disappears. Where did it go? Annihilation plane into the ME system right there. So that's another cool way of getting things in there. Um, those are probably the most common things that I use um, as far as just hand putting them in or using the ender chest to put them in. Um, you can see how with the annihilation plane, there's there's more possibilities that come through. Now the other thing is a formation plane, and you that actually brings things out of your enemy and puts them into the world. So let's say if you wanted to fill something up with lava, and you've got lava in your enemy system, which with the uh, fluid cells 
ME fluid cells, you can actually put those in there. So I think we actually have them in here. Let's uh, let me look up fluid. Mm, I want to show you the, um, you know, if I type in 64K, it'll probably come up. I thought it would be cool just to show you guys um, some of these applications, right? So right here, in, uh, fluid storage. And uh, it'll hold five types, and it'll hold um, 65, well, 64 K basically, but that's what it ends up being, 60, 60, 65,536 in the extra cells. So it's kind of cool. You can actually store fluids into your ME system, and if you have the annihilation plane, um, I'm sorry, the formation plane, you can pour lava out of it into something, or water, or any kind of fluid that you want to fill. Like if you want to fill up um, a big... Uh, um, reactor or something like that you can kind of hook it in there so those are the ways to put things into your ME system a couple unique ways and uh, workarounds for, for going into dungeons I hope that explains a little bit more about ME for you guys uh, that have been following the series and wanted to know some more information uh, I thank you guys for being a part of that and have a great day